Everyone from a former Superman actor to a member of the Wonder Years cast has at one point or another been a regular on the Hallmark Channel. Who are they and how did they get there? The answers are coming up. If Hallmark has an ambassador, it's Candace Cameron Bure, best known as DJ Tanner from the ABC sitcom Full House and its Netflix sequel, Fuller House. She starred in many Hallmark flicks, including at least 10 Christmas movies, rightfully earning her the title Christmas Queen. Though she enjoys the moniker at home, telling Us Weekly she decorated right after Halloween in 2021, she said it comes with high expectations professionally. One of her most popular Christmas films, Switched for Christmas, garnered almost 6 million viewers for its premiere, per IndieWire. In the interview with Us Weekly, she said she's letting go of the huge amount of pressure that comes with the Christmas Queen title. Ratings aren't why she makes holiday films after all. She explained, I make them because I love them. And she knows viewers do too. One look at Cameron Bure's website, and it's easy to see what drew her to Hallmark and why she stayed. The actress, wife, mother, producer, director, and New York Times best-selling author stated, I wear a lot of different hats, but the most life-changing one I identify with is Christian. I feel so blessed that I've been able to share my faith and really um, it's been such a huge part of my career. She emphasized this and her loyalty to Hallmark in a 2016 interview with Movie Phone, saying, Hallmark's my family. They have a wonderful brand that lines up with my brand. What their core values are and what they represent, that's what I do, and that's why it works so well. Lacey Chabert had quite the career before becoming one of Hallmark's leading ladies. She played Claudia Salinger in the widely acclaimed drama Party of Five, and she was also the memorable Gretchen Wieners in the early aughts cult classic Mean Girls. So fetch. What is fetch? Oh, it's like slang from England. Now she's a Hallmark star, regularly appearing in holiday, rom-com, and mystery movies. In 2022, she starred in and executive produced the Wedding Veil trilogy, which also features two other Hallmark leading ladies. She said on The Kelly Clarkson Show, This was a real passion project of mine. It's a little bit of magic, a little bit of mystery, as you discover what the veil is all about. Really at the core of it, though, it's about friendship and the connection that these women have. Speaking to Entertainment Tonight, she explained the Hallmark Channel's appeal. One of the things I love about Hallmark movies is you're guaranteed a happy ending. I think in the world we're living in today, to be a part of a project that adds a little love and light and levity into the world is something I'm very proud of. In February 2022, she signed a multi-picture two-year contract with Crown Media, securing her not just as an actress on the Hallmark Channel, but also as a developer and producer. With an acting career spanning three decades, Holly Robinson-Pete knows what makes good television. She also understands how challenging it can be to find meaningful projects for people of color, especially women. Most recognized for her roles in 21 Jump Street and Hangin' with Mr. Cooper, Robinson-Pete began her Hallmark career in 2015. Since then, she has starred in several holiday movies, a mystery miniseries, and even her own family reality show. In November 2020, the Hallmark Channel premiered The Christmas Doctor. Robinson Pete, who wrote, produced, and starred in the film, felt honored to be part of a project that featured a beautiful holiday story about, quote, black love. In a 2020 interview with Zora, Robinson Pete said, The idea of representation and diversity in Hallmark movies is really taking an exponential leap this year. We have so much content with people of different colors and different orientations. I'm feeling good about that because I feel like that was long overdue. On the topic of inclusivity, Robinson Pete also produced and starred in Our Christmas Journey, a film about a single mother who learns valuable lessons from her son, who has autism. She said in a statement via People, I am making this movie for my son RJ, who was diagnosed with autism at age two, others with autism and their families. With his sandy blonde hair, dimpled smile, and intense gaze, Chad Michael Murray didn't just make his co-stars swoon in iconic shows like Gilmore Girls, One Tree Hill, and Riverdale. He melted the hearts of his female viewers, too. Beyond his boyish good looks, Murray has had a robust and diverse career, starring in multiple feature films and even penning his own books. He's authored a graphic novel and co-authored a romance thriller. You're better. Much better. In 2018, he added Hallmark leading man to his resume. He's since been in multiple Hallmark films, including the popular Right Before Christmas and Sand Dollar Cove. 
Though he had public breakups with co-stars Sophia Bush and Kenzie Dalton, Murray is now a proud family man. He told Hollywood Life, I put God and family first. In an interview with Culture S, he talked about, among other things, working with the Hallmark Channel. He said, I love everybody over there. I get a nice mix because on the side, I can run out and do a dark little indie film or some crazy drama somewhere and then come back and dial it in for some good, wholesome content with Hallmark and tell their story. Rachel Lee Cook has had some career-defining on-screen moments. There was that dark and disturbing This Is Your Brain on Drugs public service announcement from 1997, and then two years later, she had the memorable geek to hottie transformation scene from She's All That. Who could forget a stunning cook descending down the staircase wearing a slinky red dress and high heels as Freddie Prince Jr. watches from below? Indeed, she seemed well on her way to Hollywood stardom. But after venturing into indie films and starring in some box office flops like Josie and the Pussycats, she sort of disappeared. Then she made a comeback, abandoning edgier dramas in favor of rom-coms. Cook debuted on the Hallmark Channel in 2016 and has been on a roll ever since, even producing some of her films for the network. Speaking fondly of her experience with Hallmark, she told Entertainment Tonight, My heart wants to tell stories that remind people that there is real magic in this world. Because there is. Is it like a Hallmark movie 100%? No. But I think this can remind us that there is this unbelievable force that is love. And it's the biggest thing in this life. And there should be an entire channel dedicated to it. And damn it, that's Hallmark and I love it. Cameron Matheson got his big break as Brian Lavery, a kind-hearted but conflicted hunk in All My Children, and he hasn't slowed down since. He's starred in multiple Hallmark movies, including the Murder, She Baked series, and has served as a co-host for Entertainment Tonight and Hallmark's lifestyle show, Home and Family. He also made numerous appearances on Good Morning America, Live with Kelly and Ryan, and The Talk. He even tried his hand at ballroom dancing on Dancing with the Stars. But in 2019, life took a dramatic turn. Matheson, who's a health and fitness enthusiast, was diagnosed with renal cancer. He later told Us Weekly in a 2020 interview, I didn't know if it was a death sentence. I didn't know anything. I'm a pretty optimistic and sort of glass half full guy, but it was tough in that moment. Interestingly, it was a Hallmark film, The Christmas Club, that prompted him to get an MRI after he was experiencing some concerning symptoms. Describing the movie to Entertainment Tonight, he said, It's really about paying attention and being mindful. It saved my life. See, these Hallmark Christmas movies are more powerful than you know. What hasn't Dean Cain done? He's been a TV host, a producer, a writer, an actor, a director, and not too many people can say they've been Superman and a Hallmark hunk. He's most recognized for his role as Clark Kent slash Superman in the early 90s hit show Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. However, he's also carved out a nice career for himself on the Hallmark Channel, starring in Christmas flicks like Broadcasting Christmas, The Case for Christmas, A Wish Come True, and Winter's Dream. Veering not too far from the Hallmark brand, he segued into producing and acting in a number of faith-based productions. An outspoken Christian, family man, and conservative, Kane came to Hallmark's defense in 2019 when a Salon article claimed that Hallmark movies are, quote, fascist propaganda. Speaking to hosts at Fox & Friends, he said, Hallmark movies are about love. They're about bringing people together. They're the farthest thing from fascism that exists out there. From playing the wily Sammy Brady on Days of Our Lives to The Girl Next Door on Hallmark, Allison Sweeney has demonstrated her acting chops. Since joining Hallmark in 2010, she has become a dominating force. She starred in several projects, including Time For You To Come Home For Christmas, The Murder She Baked series, and The Wedding Veil Trilogy. Aside from acting, she's also worked on scripts and produced for the network. Michelle Vickery, before she stepped down as Crown Media's Executive Vice President of Programming and Network Publicity, said in a statement via Paste, We pride ourselves on how our programming is created, written, developed, and produced by women that connect with all of our viewers. Sweeney echoed this sentiment, saying, I absolutely think it's important right now to make sure that women are being equally hired and given that opportunity in this industry that has been so predominantly male. A report from the Center for the Study of Women in Television and Film proves her right. The study found that of those working behind the scenes on the top 250 grossing films in 2021, 25% were women. That's up from 23% in 2020. That sounds awesome. Let's hope, with the help of enterprising women like Sweeney, that number will continue to grow.
Jesse Metcalf shot to fame in the early 2000s. He starred as the womanizing basketball star in the 2016 romantic comedy John Tucker Must Die, and was the sexy and tanned gardener who wooed Eva Longoria's character on Desperate Housewives. Metcalf is also a SAG award-winning actor. He starred in Beyond a Reasonable Doubt, The Other End of the Line, and The Tortured. In 2015, he joined the Hallmark Fold, starring in A Country Wedding, where he got to show off his musical side as a country singer and guitar player. Now, with projects like Christmas Next Door, Christmas Under the Stars, and Chesapeake Shores, he's become a Hallmark regular. He even produced several episodes of Martha's Vineyard Mysteries. And it doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. Metcalf told Entertainment Tonight, I've been on quite a journey, to say the least. I've worked consistently for the last 20 years. Not many people can say that. But of course, I want more. I feel like I've really only scratched the surface in the last 20 years of what I can do. Well, lucky for you, I happen to be an expert. She made her claim to fame as the dark-haired, dark-eyed girl who stole Kevin Arnold's heart on The Wonder Years. Still, Danica McKellar's road from Winnie Cooper to Hollywood star has been anything but conventional. She graduated summa cum laude from UCLA with a degree in mathematics, published New York Times best-selling math books for children, and even co-authored a new math theorem. After The Wonder Years, she starred in several popular shows, such as The West Wing, NYPD Blue, and The Big Bang Theory. She then found a permanent home on the Hallmark Channel, executive producing and playing the lead in several Christmas movies and the miniseries Matchmaker Mysteries. In 2021, however, she shocked fans when she made a very public exit from Hallmark to work at one of its competitor networks, GAC Family. It was founded by former Crown Media Family Network CEO Bill Abbott. One of the reasons McKellar said she went to GAC was because of her close working relationship with Abbott. Though she's been hush-hush about some of her upcoming projects, she said that her contract with GAC involves her only doing rom-coms and holiday films. As with Hallmark, she wanted to star in and produce her own films, and that's exactly what she did for The Winter Palace, her inaugural project with GAC. Prepare for your world to be rocked. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.